this nigga You gon' respect this lava I'm shooting it if I pull it Boy, make sure you want this drama I bring it to you like it's law and order SVU Turn you to a vegetable Now you look good inside a soup Family come from Bishopville But I grew up in that Bronx Zoo Where they shoot you dead in the street And then dance all on top of you And I do what I gotta do to make a dollar What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nate Almighty A.K.A. The Global Dark Skinny Ambassador Back again with today's Rikers Island story. I want to talk about yet another thing that I don't see guys too much talk about who has Rikers Island stories. The grueling, humiliating process it is of being in the cell house or Mard house in Rikers Island, at least speaking for C-74, because that's the only building I've been in that wasn't, um, OBCC or BMCC for the box. Um, C74 Rikers Island, random searches. Some of the most humiliating things you ever gonna go through. Okay, now, speaking about what a random search is, a random search is when you get the A team together, right? This is the A team. The ass kicking A team. I'm talking about those big brolic dudes. You know what I'm saying? They get they get about 20, 30 deep, and then they would randomly go to your living quarters, your your house, and they would randomly search everything. But see, it sounds like it's nothing, but it's real intricate and it's real uh uh demasculating. The whole process of it is because let's say um like it's very random oftentimes it's in the morning let's say uh you haven't even been woken up for breakfast yet right but then you get an immediate random search in your house now it's random because it's it's two occasions where you'll have a a, a big search like that right that's one when it's just real random and they may hear some rumblings about some drugs being uh transported or or people being extorted or stuff like that or it's just that house is time for a random search and the other situation would be every single time after there's a fight after there's a fight and the pba get pressed you know what i'm saying it's 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 usually a big search after that. Now, the first situation, let's say it's six, seven in the morning, uh, breakfast time. They immediately just popping up and they just saying, search, search, search. Everybody out of bed, out of bed, out of bed, right? So your shit is already blown, you know what I'm saying? You done woke up with the morning wood. You was home in your dreams. You was with a bad chick who you ain't never seen before. About to have a nice wet dream. You get woken up and you reminded that you're in Rikers Island, buddy. You're locked up for a criminal offense. So you already upset that you had to come back to reality. So now, so now they wake everybody up, right? Everybody got to stand at their cell. They buzz every single cell door open. So the objective is to search whoever cell it is, search that person, right? That person has to take off all of their clothes and get naked. That's the rule. However, some COs, if they know you or if they just don't feel like it, you know what I'm saying? Because they search so many people all the time. Like, a dude is not just going to want to see another dude's, like, like, like genitalia and, 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 and anal crevice. You know what I'm saying? 20 million times a day. So, he might tell you to just, like, Take your pants off, take your shirt off, and he'll tell you to keep your drawers on. That happens on occasion. Um, I've been on both ends where, where they searching you. You gotta take off your shirt, your pants, and your drawers. Um, you be having to open your mouth, right? Make sure there ain't no razor nothing in your mouth. You be having to lift up your sack. You be having to to to, to turn around. Squat and cough. Squat and cough is literally what it says. You squat and you cough. The cough is the cough is if you cough while you're already squatting, 
If you had something stuck up your navel cavity, it's supposed to fall and you're supposed to get caught red handed right there. But um, they'll wake you up, they come in the search. I've seen the most humiliating thing happen where, where right across from me in the cell, just because the CEO felt like it, I seen him, I seen him. He told the dude to take off all of his clothes, told him to turn around, squat and cough, but he said, go lower, right? Told him go lower to the point where this dude like clapped his butt cheek on the ground as he was squatting and coughing, right? He did not have to be told to do this. That's not standard protocol, but the CO just felt like doing that. And I heard his booty made a clapping sound on the ground and him and the other CO that was next to him, they started laughing, right? They was like, all right, all right, all right, chill, put your clothes back on. So not only that, not only it could get as humiliating as that, once, because when they tell you to take off your clothes and they observing you and stuff like that, and they have you squat cough, they stand outside your cell. They still got to tell you to step out. So it's one CO watching you, make sure you don't try to swing or, or do anything crazy. And then that first CO goes into your cell and they basically just tear everything up. They basically just tear everything up. You got a bucket of clothes. They empty your bucket of clothes on your bed. They lift in your mattress throwing your mattress around, you know what I'm saying? Um, um, If you got mail, they looking through your mail, they unsorting your mail, they squeezing it for drugs and uh, and like knobs and razors and stuff like that. They squeezing it, they just tan everything up. They just leaving the whole, it's even worse. It's even worse if you live in a mod house, but they just tearing everything up, everything up. They looking for Drugs, weapons, and um, gang paraphernalia, which would be like code, stuff like that, on like paperwork, stuff like that. It's just a real grueling, humiliating process. But like I said, the most messed up thing I seen was when they made the kid squat and cough and made him clap his booty meat on a cell floor. Very embarrassing, very disrespectful. I mean, that's that's damn near the same as getting your manhood tuck. It's pretty much the same thing. But, you know, that's my story on how humiliating and trash a search is on Raggers Island C74 Adolescence. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Nate Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador.